A short thought, Lechovit Shabbos. So this Shabbos we read Parshas Kitiso, and amongst the other various sugis in this parsha, we learn about Shviras Haluchos. What a momentous event. What a tragic event. Moshe Rabbeinu comes down from Har Sinai, and he sees the unfolding tragedy. Vayika Asher Korav Elamachna V'yara Soregel Amacholis V'yachar Af Moshe V'yashlach Meyod V'saluchos. I was troubled for many years. How come the last posok in Torah Hashem is about Shvira Saluchos? Rashi says, Rashi says, Why does the Torah end with a huge stain? on Klal Yisrael forehead. Do you remember the end of Mesechet Nida? What a beautiful ending of the Mesechet. Kol HaShon HaLochis B'Kol Yoi, Muvtach Lushu Ben Oilam Abo, Shanei Amar Alichas Oilam Loi Alti Kol Alichas Elo Alochis, and Toises on the spot explains, it has nothing to do with Mesechet Nida. But the Gemara wants to end with a Dover Toiv. We always end as Sefer. With a dove or tov, something that is machazik, it's encouraging, it's uplifting. Kach nagu hanevim harishoinim, lesayim bedivrei shevach v'tanchumin, and we find the same in Shisha Sidre Mishnah. You all know what's the last mesechet and say the Tara, it's uktsin. And what is the last mamer in mesechet uktsin? Loy motza kodesh bochu kli machzik brocha liyisorelo asholoim. So the neviim ended with a dove tov. Rabbeinu HaKadosh finished the Mishnah with the Dover Toiv. The Gemara ends with the Dover Toiv. Why wouldn't the same be expected of Torah Hashem to Mimo? So why does the Torah conclude with Shvira Saluchis? And I say, Shvira Saluchis is the greatest testament to the greatness and the uniqueness of Klal Yisrael. It is a privilege. It is the highest praise it's not a stain. And many years ago, I thought to myself, Kodesh Bochu didn't tell Moshe to shatter, to break the Luchis. It is one of the three things Shosa Moshe Medata Viskama Kodesh Bochu Al Yodai Shovaras Al And I wonder, what does a postman, a mailman do if he doesn't find the right address? He has an envelope. There might be a check in there. And the people move. They no longer live here. Does he rip it up and throw it into the trash? He'd go to jail. If you don't have the correct address, it goes back to the sender. So how does Moshe dare to shatter the luchis? Should go back to the sender. Should give them back to a Kodesh Boch. Well, I don't know what a Kodesh Boch's plans would be. In the beginning of Masech Dabai the Zorah, the Gemara says that Kodesh Boch who offered the Torah to many nations, to all the other nations. So Esav didn't like Loiseretzach, Yishmol didn't like Loisenaf. We ended up with the Torah. We agreed. But if we fail, maybe Moshe should give the Luchas back to HaKadosh Baruch or maybe HaKadosh Baruch will make another round. What does the auctioneer do? He hoped to sell this book, this, this uh, piece of Judaica for $10,000 and nobody is willing to pay the price. So you let down the price and you make another round. Maybe a Kodesh Baruch will go back to Esav, go back to Yishmol. Maybe he'll give them a discount. He'll, 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 he'll take something out of the Torah to make it more appealing. A mailman doesn't tear up a letter and throw it away. It goes back to sender. Moshe Rabbeinu wants to prove it is either them or no one. There's no one else out there. And when the Gemara says in about this other, that the Baruch Hu the Torah to all the other nations, it's not because there was even the remotest of possibilities that they will accept. It is impossible. It cannot be. Because the very first Posek in Torah says, Bereshes Boru Alukim. And Rashi explains, Bishvil Yisrael Shenik Horeshes, Bishvil Torah Shenik Horeshes. There is no one else. So why did HaKadosh Baruch Hu the Torah to the others? Because he knew that they'll say No. They cannot say yes. 
And that is what Moshe wants to prove for eternity to the entire world. If it's not them, it is no one. And Moshe shatters the luchis. And that is a testament to our uniqueness. So in the third pedic of Mesechet Davos, the Mishnah says, Chavivin Yisrael shenikru bonam lemokoim. And then the Mishnah goes on to say, Chavivin Yisrael shenitan lehem kleichem do. Chibi Yisrael anoy daaslem shenitan lehem kleichem do. Bonam lemokoim and kleichem do are two sides of the same coin. We are unique because the Kodesh Baruch Hu gave us the Torah, and he gave us the Torah because we are his, his children. So you know what a Hadrin is all about. We finish a Masechet, we go back to the beginning. We finish the Torah, we go back to the beginning. The very last Posek and the very first Posek are the same message. Asher Yisrael. It's either them or no one. If they're not fitting, then the luchus are meaningless. They are void of meaning. And why is that? So that is the lesson and that is the message that Shviris Haluchis conveys. Let me share another very short thought. So the Posik says when Moshe comes down from the mountain, Kasha Koravala Machna Vyar, Asuegal, Bahama Khoilois, Vayakar Af Moshe Vyashlach Miyodoi, the Ksiv. The Mesoris is Miyodoi in a singular form. The Kri is Miyodov. Rabbi Sol Salantar explained Moshe sees the tragedy, the eagle, the idol. And it is clear to Moshe, I can't give them Luach number one. They failed the test. That's the eagle, that's the Pesel. But maybe I should give them Luach number two. Be a mensch, lo tirzach, lo tignoiv, lo tinaf, lo isach medeishis reyecho, lo toed bereacho, eid shokar. Why shouldn't I give them benodam lachaveire? And HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, no. The two luchos can come together. And you cannot separate one from the other. Never. If there is no benodam lachaveire, there can be no benodam lachaveire. And if there is no benodam lachaveire, there can be no benodam lachaveire. The two luchos are one and the same. Two sides of the very same coin. Vayashlech miyodav. So let us always remember, we are Am HaTayra. The Torah is for us, and we are for the Torah. We have no right to exist without Torah, and the Torah would not be if not for us. And that is why Moshe Shovar HaSaluchis. And this Torah means, Beinodam L'Mokrim and Beinodam L'Chavei Roishnei Luchis Sabris. Have a beautiful Shabbos. And we'd always share the Sadist Tavist.